Hello, this is Dave from ERC, and I got my head cam on today. This is the Firefly 8SE with 90 degree field of view. It's in 1080p mode, and we're going to go out and fly the Eagle. Now, I'm, I'm going to have to pardon myself on the title, because I did put that this was a maiden flight, but it's actually maybe the fifth flight I've made with it. I just didn't make any flights on a sunny day like today. And... Uh, my previous flights that I actually did do the two maiden flights, I'm going to put those in the description underneath this video so you can watch them. And I'll also put a card up here where you can click that to go to those maiden flights. But this is the first flight on a sunny day. So I call this the sunny day maiden flight. All right, let's take it out and go for that flight. Here's the radio I'm using. It's the Tyrannus QX7S, and uh, it's got the same settings that I use with most of my small model aircraft. Nothing special with this plane, because it does basically have ailerons, rudder, and elevator, even though it's a V-tail. But if you want to know what the settings are for the V-tail and aileron setup, that's in another movie, and I'll put a link to that. I think it was part two or part three of the build series. And keep in mind, there is a build series, and I'll have links to that under this video as well. Okay, let's get out there and do it. I'm going to use this battery this time. Uh, this is going to be a... Two dog RC battery, but it's still a 1500 three cell. So it should weigh about the same as the Turnergy ones. Let's try to put it right along that line right there. Radio is already on, wings are connected. Go ahead and plug it in. Try to center that wing up. That looks pretty good. Make sure the prop is on there good. All right, looks like it's ready. There may be some golfers out here, I don't know. That's always a possibility on a nice day like this. And this is the property marker. All right, let's try it. Didn't have my finger on the stick quite right there. There we go. There she goes. Well, it's nice to be out on a sunny day and flying the Eagle. The first two maiden flights I had were on a cloudy day. And uh, a hawk did show up. Well, it wasn't a hawk, it was a raven. A raven showed up and started flying around with it. I don't know if we're going to get that today, but I just wanted to get some sunny day shots of it. It's cruising along good. Rudder works good. Flies are out. Well, I'm going to bring it back down here. Let's do a little low and slow thing here. There we go. And I'm still using the 980 kV motor, a sunny sky. I've often thought that uh, I could have easily gone up to a 1400 if I wanted to. But it doesn't really need it. I mean I'm only flying at half throttle right now and it's doing fine. I'll do another little pass here. Coming right at me. That's just about as close as I can get right there. 
little wind gust of wind came up. These are pretty light birds, so if there is wind, it will buffet a little bit. Now I put a lo I actually didn't put a full battery in it. It was about 98, not 90, about 90 percent, I should say. About 12.3 volts, I think it was. And it had been sitting around a long time, and I thought I'd just run the current out of it for the winter. Just run the battery down low for storage. There's a loop-de-loop. Now you saw I just did a very tight loop-de-loop -loop there with that old battery on a 980 kV motor. So, looks to me like it has enough power. The deck, you know, the directions recommend an 1100 kV. And I reckon that's probably the best for it. But, uh, just coming around here. 1100's right in the middle, but I've heard of some people putting 1400's on them. 1400 kV, and it gives them a lot more power, but I don't know how it is efficiency wise. I'm just messing around. I guess I ought to land it. I think I'll probably run that battery down pretty good by now. And it has a pretty good glide on it. Like if I cut the motor off, you can see it glides pretty good there. But there it is, the Eagle on the sunny day. Oh, there are some golfers coming in setting the ball, getting ready to swing, so I'm out of here. That's one thing I always give the golfers their way, because I don't want to ruin my privileges. All right, let's get a pretty picture of it right over here. So look for the links to the original maiden flight and the build videos in the description under this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you liked. Thanks for watching.